Porcupines are large rodents with coats of sharp spines, or quills, that protect them against predation. The term covers two families of animals, the Old World porcupines of family Hystricidae, and the New World porcupines of family Erythizontidae. Both families belong to the infraorder Hystricognatha within the profoundly diverse order Rodentia and display superficially similar coats of rigid or semi-rigid quills which are modified hairs composed of keratin. Despite this, the two groups are distinct from one another and are not closely related to each other within the Hystricognatha. The largest species of porcupine is the third largest living rodent in the world after the capybara and beaver. The Old World porcupines live in Italy, Asia, Western and Southern, and most of Africa. They are large, terrestrial, and strictly nocturnal. In taxonomic terms, they form the family Hystricidae. The New World porcupines are indigenous to North America and Northern South America. They live in wooded areas and can climb trees, where some species spend their entire lives. They are less strictly nocturnal than their Old World counterparts, and generally smaller. In taxonomic terms, they form the family Erythizontidae. Most porcupines are about 60 to 90 centimeters, 25 to 36 in, long, with a 20 to 25 centimeters, 8 to 10 in, long tail. Weighing 5 to 16 kilograms, 12 to 35 pounds, they are rounded, large, and slow, and use an aposematic strategy of defense. Porcupine's coloration consists of various shades of brown, gray, and white. Porcupine's spiny protection resembles that of the unrelated Erinaceomorph hedgehogs and Australian monotreme echidnas as well as tenracid tenrax. The word porcupine comes from Latin porcus pig and spina spine, quill, via Old Italian, Italian porco spino, thorn pig, Middle French Middle English. A regional American name for the animal is quill pig. A baby porcupine is a porcupit. When born, a porcupit's quills are soft hardened hair. They harden within a few days, forming the sharp quills of adults. Fossils belonging to the genus Hystrix date back to the late Miocene of the continent of Africa. A porcupine is any of 58 species of rodents belonging to the families Erythizontidae, genera, Coendu, Erythizin, and Chetomys, or Hystricidae, genera, Atherurus, Hystrix, and Trichis. Porcupines vary in size considerably, Rothschild's porcupine of South America weighs less than a kilogram, 2.2 pounds. The crested porcupine found in Italy, North Africa, and Sub-Saharan Africa can grow to well over 27 kilograms 60 pounds. The two families of porcupines are quite different, and although both belong to the Hystricognatha branch of the vast order Rodentia, they are not closely related. The 11 Old World porcupines tend to be fairly large, and have spines grouped in clusters. The two subfamilies of New World porcupines are mostly smaller, although the North American porcupine reaches about 85 cm or 33 in in length and 18 kg or 40 pounds have their quills attached singly rather than grouped in clusters, and are excellent climbers, spending much of their time in trees. The New World porcupines evolved their spines independently, through convergent evolution, and are more closely related to several other families of rodents than they are to the Old World porcupines. Porcupines have a relatively high longevity and hold the record for being the longest living rodent, with one individual named Cooper living past 32 years. The North American porcupine is a herbivore, it eats leaves, herbs, twigs, and green plants such as clover. In the winter, it may eat bark. It often climbs trees to find food. The African porcupine is not a climber and forages on the ground. It is mostly nocturnal, but will sometimes forage for food in the day, eating bark, roots, fruits, and berries, as well as farm crops. Porcupines have become a pest in Kenya and are eaten as a delicacy. Defensive behavior displays in a porcupine depend on sight, scent, and sound. Often, these displays are shown. When a porcupine becomes agitated or annoyed, there are four main displays seen in a porcupine which are quill erection, teeth clattering, emitting of odor, and attack. These displays are ranked from least to most aggressive. A porcupine's coloring aids in part of its defense as most of the predators are nocturnal and color blind. A porcupine's markings are black and white. The dark body and coarse hair of the porcupine are a dark brown slash black and when quills are raised, present a white strip down its back mimicking the look of a skunk. This, along with the raising of the sharp quills, deters predators. Along with the raising of the quills, 
Porcupines clatter their teeth to warn predators not to approach. The incisors vibrate against each other, the strike zone shifts back and the cheek teeth clatter. This behavior is often paired with body shivering, which is used to further display the dangerous quills. The rattling of quills is aided by the hollow quills at the back end of the porcupine. The use of odor is when the sight and sound have failed. An unpleasant scent is produced from the skin above the tail in times of stress, and is often seen with quill erection. If the above processes fail, the porcupine will attack by running sideways or backwards into predators. A porcupine's tail can also be swung in the direction of the predator. If contact is made, the quills could be impaled into the predator causing injury or death. Porcupine's quills, or spines, take on various forms, depending on the species, but all are modified hairs coated with thick plates of keratin, and embedded in the skin musculature. Old world porcupines have quills embedded in clusters, whereas in new world porcupines, single quills are interspersed with bristles, underfur, and hair. Quills are released by contact or may drop out when the porcupine shakes its body. New quills grow to replace lost ones. Despite what is commonly believed, porcupines do not have the ability to launch their quills at range. There are some possible antibiotic properties within the quills, specifically associated with the free fatty acids coating the quills. The antibiotic properties are believed to aid a porcupine that has suffered from self-injury. Porcupines are seldom eaten in Western culture, but are very popular in Southeast Asia, particularly Vietnam, where the prominent use of them as a food source has contributed to declines in porcupine populations. The naturalist William J. Long reported the taste of the North American porcupine as vile and malodorous and delightful only to a lover of strong cheese. With regards to a Maine state law that restricted the killing of porcupines to keep them available as emergency game for people lost in the woods, he noted, it is undoubtedly a good law, but I cannot now imagine anyone being grateful for it, unless the stern alternative were death or porcupine. More commonly, their quills and guard hairs are used for traditional decorative clothing. For example, their guard hairs are used in the creation of the Native American porky roach headdress. The main quills may be dyed, and then applied in combination with thread to embellish leather accessories such as knife sheaths and leather bags. Lakota women would harvest the quills for quill work by throwing a blanket over a porcupine and retrieving the quills it left stuck in the blanket. The presence of barbs, acting like anchors, makes it more painful to remove a quill that has pierced the skin. The shape of the barbs makes the quills more effective, both for penetrating the skin and for remaining in place. The quills have inspired research for such applications as the design of hypodermic needles and surgical staples. In contrast to the current design for surgical staples, the porcupine quill and barb design would allow easy and painless insertion, as the staple would stay in the skin using the anchored barb design rather than being bent under the skin like traditional staples. The porcupine is often used as a symbol of American libertarianism due to its natural embodiment of defensiveness and the non-aggression principle. Porcupines occupy a small range of habitats in tropical and temperate parts of Asia, southern Europe, Africa, and North and South America. They live in forests and deserts, rocky outcrops, and hillsides. Some New World Porcupines live in trees, but Old World porcupines prefer a rocky environment. Porcupines can be found on rocky areas up to 3,700 meters 12,100 feet high, they are generally nocturnal, but are occasionally active during daylight.